What's good, team exclusive, and welcome back to another episode of the Draft to Glory. Um, I've been trying to stall this this episode because I, I again I just feel like we're going to get shafted again in the draft and probably in the uh, the wheel spin. Um, of course, with that said, if you're new to this series, I have tried to make this series slightly different from uh, you know all the other series that you see on YouTube about Draft to Glory. Um, basically, we're going to spin a wheel in a second, and that's going to give us different themes, like, you know, league themes, Premier League, La Liga, that kind of stuff, or, or different themes in, in the way of, like, slowest rated, uh, fastest, highest rated, um, you know, no icons, icon draft, that kind of thing. So, I have tried to make it slightly different from all the other uh, more generic uh, draft glory series as you'll see on YouTube, but um, I think with that said, let's jump over to... The wheel so hopefully you can see the wheel behind me uh, obviously this is what I'm talking about so you can see all the different ideas that we've got on there as well uh, and out of position just rolling around one of the newest additions to the wheel basically if you don't know how that works that uh, that single theme itself is we choose one player again say like a left back like Mendy and put play them at like left wing or centre mid or something like that so we have to play one player in the team out of position and uh, all the other ones you can kind of see which are fairly self-explanatory so I think with uh, with all that said let's not waste any more time even though I am trying to delay it as long as possible because I feel like we're going to get shafted but uh, let's just give the wheel a spin see what we are going to get today come on please be kind to us okay interesting 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 so we've got a rule breaker draft uh, which means if we see any are there any actually rule breakers in the draft I'm not sure to be honest. I'm actually not sure at this point anymore because I did put that in when uh, there must be, but there's not that many. So, Draft of Glory is going rogue. We are going to spin it again. We're going rogue, and I tell you, we're breaking all the rules today. Let's see what we're going to get. Oh, we are. Okay, that's going to be slightly better. We are going to get out of position, which is. Uh, I don't know why I chose Elmo Flam, but uh, it just seems to fit. Uh, yeah, so obviously, like I mentioned, we are going to have to choose one player, play them out of position, um, and uh, see how that goes. There's quite a, there's quite a few players we could we could obviously choose, and that would make the the selection slightly more interesting. So um, let me jump over to the game. So again, hopefully, if this all works, we back on the game and let's jump straight into the online online draft. Uh, if you saw the last episode, we did get shafted, and the game completely shat the bed. Um, and, and took all control away from us and basically let the AI play for us and eventually we were kicked due to inactivity. Uh, utter BS, in my opinion, and it was, that was, I don't know, probably one of the worst things that could happen in the draft, to be honest. Um, you know, you're literally destined to, to be kicked and lose, uh, lose in whatever round you, you end up in. But uh, yeah, we got a free draft token because I did complain to EA. I don't think they would have awarded anything otherwise. Uh, but they reviewed the situation, saw it was complete BS as well, and gave us a draft token. So this um, this draft isn't actually going to cost us anything besides all of our pride and dignity. Um, but we are going to get... You now I've got to think, what, what, um, what formation would be quite good for like an out-of-position player? Obviously, we don't know who we're going to really play just yet. Um not really that many options to be fair. I, I don't want to go with a five back, I don't want to go with a three back, so it's really just a four, two, three, one, or four, one, two, one, two. Let's go with the four, one, two, one, two. I haven't really used it. Uh, it's an interesting formation that I do want to use. Oh, we get Baggio. See, he could be a good one to play out of position. Um, we also get De, De Bruyne. Um, we'll take Baggio, he's an icon. You can't, you can't turn that down. You cannot turn that down. Striker number one, we're going to get Gabriel Jesus or Timo Werner. We'll go with Timo Werner. He is oh, arguably slightly better. Get Jesus is still pretty OP, and there's Jesus anyway. We'll take both of those. Don't have to choose between the two OP strikers. We get both of them. Thomas Party. Going with a Premier League themed draft, I suppose, at the moment. Um, and then Wish Naldum as well. Take that, definitely. I'm going to worry about the out of position rule later on, so I don't think it's going to matter too much just yet. We get Darun. 
uh, very similar to the boon, but uh, not quite. Bit so he's a good he's a good center. Oh, we get Zachariah. We'll just take Zachariah. None of them link besides obviously the boon, uh, but we're not. We're obviously not going to choose him. So, um, do we have any French? We don't have any French. Interesting. Um, I don't want to go with Marcus Lorente, so we'll just go. Wait, Marcus Alonso, sorry. We'll go with Hernandez. See if we can link anybody up. Send him out get Laporte. The three would link, but um, he's not very good, is he? So it's either Fernandinho, Laporte. Oh, brilliant, we'll go with Laporte. Trying to keep with that, obviously, French and Premier League theme. If we just get like a French Premier League CDM, it would be pretty good. Ooh, Sergio Ramos. Sergio Ramos. Um, you know, do we take him over, over like Rudiger or Zuma, um, just because he's better, but doesn't link? Hmm. We'll, we'll we'll risk it. We'll take it. Come on, give us like Carvajal or, or something. Get stiffed, but uh, yeah, not. Um, not brilliant. Not brilliant, actually. It's not really what you want to see. Courtois? Nope. Um, Jordan Matip. Uh, not Matip. Massip. Jord Jordi Massip? Ah, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to melt down. He would obviously link to Thingy. Um, he's probably the most obvious pick, and we'll go with that, just to give Ramos some chemistry. Um, goalkeeper number two. And give us Sergio Asensio, or we could go with a more Premier League themed. Uh, he's slightly better, but he's not that much better. So I think we'll go with Rui Patricio, just in case we switch up and go with more of a Premier League themed. Premier League themed draft. Oh, okay. It's going to have to be Andy Robertson, isn't it? 87 rated. You can't turn down one of the. Highest rated left backs, maybe not the best left back in the game, but uh, definitely, definitely one of the highest rated ones. Um, hmm. What goes to miss to miss to? I don't know how you pronounce that. Okay. Anyway, we'll go with him just in case, um, because we can put him at centre back or left centre back. Right. Wait. Right centre back. Anyway, uh, we've got nobody that really works. Um, he does obviously link to, we didn't take Vitzel, so we'll go with uh, Lozano, just as a bit of a super sub, he probably is the best option. Clarence Seydorf, can't say no to that, and that does kind of link up all to our chemistry. Not the greatest, um, not the greatest CDM, Parte, he does work there, but he gives Ramos 10 chemistry and, and Laporte some chemistry, so that's pretty good. Eden Hazard, ooh, ooh, Cristiano, Ronaldo, he doesn't work, does he? He doesn't work. What does it get? Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, who I don't really like too much in this game, so we'll take, we'll take Ronaldo, highest rated, great super sub, late on in the game, uh, if we need it, nobody works, so we'll take, uh, I don't know why I chose him, but uh, anyway, first reserve pick is going to give us Davies, that's not a bad pick to be fair, Davies is a very, very quality centre, uh, left back rather, oh yeah, we get right to the final Griezmann, and we get Messi as well, it's got to be Messi, hasn't it, Ronaldo and Messi in the same draft, who would say no to that? Not me. Definitely <laughs> not me. Come on, another icon. It is another icon in Genduzi, but um Not the greatest. We get in Bolo. Used to be quite a beast in uh, past FIFAs, not so much anymore. Marcelo de Brun. Finally we get de Brun. Or we get also Nacho Fernandez. Who could play it. Uh Could play at 
right back. But then we could play, we could play uh, our out of position um, player for Ramos at right back. Because he did used to play there. So uh, I'm going to turn down De Bruyne and play Nacho Fernandez. I'm also going to play Ramos at right back. He is our out of position player. And that's that sorted. So we don't have to worry about that. We get Valverde. That's not a bad shout, to be honest. Hmm. See, now I kind of wish I took the Brun. Because I could have played him at Cam. Baggy at Striker. And then Valverde. But uh, it's got to be Valverde anyway. Because he's the best player. So what if we did that? I mean, it's not going to make Ramos any better at, at right back. It's just whether or not I prefer playing Valverde, who's slightly quicker, but is he slightly better than Partey? Face value stats, not really. Partey's obviously got better passing, dribbling, defending, that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, we'll play him definitely. I think we'll stick Valverde on the bench. Not, I think I'm really going to use him anyway. Um, doesn't affect chemistry, but I think having Gabriel Jesus on, on 10 chemistry is a lot better than having him on 7. Um, and that's how the team looks. I mean, that's not a bad team, to be fair. Even with the out of out of position rule, and we kind of cheesed it a little bit by playing Ramos at right back, but he is out of position. Um, there's no point, you know, ruining ruining our, our draft chances by playing Ramos at strike or whatever, because he, one, won't get any links. <laughs> Most likely won't get any links. And also, it will, you know, it will fuck us quite badly. So I think for now, that's probably quite a good option. Um, we've actually got a very good team. Very good team. Obviously, Laporte lacking a little bit. But, uh, you know, unless we've got somebody like Gomez or, or Van Dijk, we weren't really going to get chemistry. Not that it matters. We do get Sergio, which I think is probably the obvious choice. Um, giving Ramos 10, or not 10, 7 chemistry, sorry, which is very, very adequate. Yeah, it would have really been uh, Pep Guardiola, I think, who would have really kind of sorted us out giving Laporte and Partey 8 chemistry as well as Ramos but uh, we'll go with Sergio I think he's the best choice but uh, yeah either way that's a very very good looking team first opponent today has a team that looks a little something like this not a whole lot of chemistry got a rogue Raul Patricio in uh, in goal good looking backline though with um, Perez, Boateng and I think even Mancano uh, as well as whoever that was at right back. But um, yeah, we've got a very good team anyway. So hopefully we can do a little bit of damage. Uh, no way Messi's winning that. Oh. See Gabriel Jesus making that run. Smack it into the bottom corner. Let's go. 1-0. Gabriel Jesus makes it. Makes it 1, obviously. Getting the lead. Just a... Sensational run by Jesus, but uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Doesn't matter. Okay. I want to see Jesus through the middle. Jeez. Oh, Just ran out of space. Couldn't really uh, get the shot off properly, but big header. Oh. Jesus from ways away, never mind. Oh my god. What even is happening in this game? Oh my god. You're actually kidding me. Why would he know? He went up to the ball and then just ran away from it. So lucky we didn't uh, concede there. That is utter garbage, man. I don't know how many more times you want to make the free and tackle, but... but Baggio going on through. Come on. Has to be a goal. There we are. Just taking our time, making sure we actually score that. Jesus Christ. Had a few chances, just haven't put them away. Mainly with Jesus. I've just been bottling the chances, but we've defended really well against this guy. He just seems to love just to pass it a lot. Don't know. It's just quite easy to 
sometimes read and just not do anything. The less you do, the, the more you do, really. I see Werner through the middle. Oh, no. We've got Jesus. Finish the game. Oh, no. It's game over anyway. Game, set, and match. But I uh, just wanted that last goal. I should have taken an extra, extra touch, but just rushed it. Want somebody to get your head on it? Nope. Seedorf. Nope. But there we are. Game over. We get the first victory in the first round. Let's go. Not the hardest game in the world, if I'm being honest. Um, no disrespect to the guy. It was, it was right, to be fair. You know, he put up a challenge. Obviously, having uh, Leo and, and Cristiano, it was, it was a bit of a challenge to defend against. But, um, yeah, once I worked out that he does like to, you know, like, tiki taka one, one touch passing all, all the way through the pitch. Um, you know, obviously giving it to to like Ronaldo, then to Messi, it was, it was quite easy to defend. Um, in the end, just working out where he was going to go. Shame that I conceded that first goal though, but it's just just what, what it is, really. Second round opponent. Still a very nice team, to be fair. Not the greatest backline with Maguire and Shaw, Fernandinho, they're all quite slow. Cancelo's quite good. Another really rogue goalkeeper, and this time being uh, Jan Oblak. So. Good team. Hopefully ours can be slightly better. Just got to play well. Try not to give up stupid possession. Got Jesus already going on through. Can he put it in? Yeah, not Black is good though. He's a good goalkeeper. He makes a very good save. Oh my god. Do not want to give it away there. And we've conceded. Brilliant. Wow. Just one... Mistakeful pass. Got that run by Wijnaldum. Put it back. Hey Zeus. Nope. Wait. Timo. Ooh, let's go. What a goal. Timo Werner smacking it into the back of the back of the net. Equaling this game up. I definitely feel like it's very even. We I feel like I can get goals. I just I'm just worried that I'm just gonna concede more. Then we, uh, then we concede, but uh, then we s concede more than we'd score, rather. Jesus. Oh, we're getting past Maguire. Can he put it in the back of the net? He can. Smash it into the top corner. Let's go. And he's gone. He's gone. Let's go. First time we've actually beaten our record of the second round. I have no idea why this guy quit at all. He must have just been mad that he, he messed up the pass and then conceded from it but like he was in, he was in the game fully he was fully in the game so no idea why he did that so anything past this point is literally just a bonus now that we've made it past the second round finally the next this team feels real nice like jesus and Werner, just they're so op and saying that i mean it's this guy hasn't got a bad team either it so got some very OP players, just slow strikers. But, I mean, Muriel is not too slow, but he's not brilliant, is he? So, he has got a shadow, so he's going to be even quicker than he already is. Fantastic. And the loose ball, brilliant. Gives it away immediately. Baggio wins it back, though. Jesus, see the run. It's past his man. And he, yes, Baggio makes the run. Puts in the back of the corner, uh, back of the net, rather, finishing Jesus' chance. Is he going to quit? No, doesn't look like it. Damn. I was hoping for an easy, uh, easy third round entry. Do I know some uh, some skill moves to get past me? To be fair, I just don't know how to deal with Jesus though. Getting past his man, using that strength and that pace. I can't, but can Baggio finish it off? I can't. I rushed it so hard. <laughs> now I got done there, but Lozano. Damn. Let him run past me as well. No. Ah, oh, so sad. That's so sad how he didn't just grab the ball. Look at that. Oh, my God. So close, to be fair. So close. Defended so well in this game. We just haven't been able to break through this guy's defence. Um, oh, that's a great save by Massip. Great save. We're in a little bit of trouble, to be fair. 
that's not the place you want to give the ball away, but okay. Is he run by Jesus? Can he? Oh, what a finish by Jesus. Let's go. He can as well. Stroke a 45th minute, which is never a good sign, but uh, he smashes it into the back of the corner. Look at that. What a shot from what, like an incredible angle. I didn't actually think he was actually going to score it, but let's go. This guy is a monster. No wonder everybody has him in, in their team. Just insane. So if we can get a few more chances like that, you know, we're being put on put on the back foot with the, you know, this guy's attack being, having to defend quite a lot. But if we can just get a few good chances and just smack it in the back, back of the net with Jesus, we'll be uh, in a good position, to be fair. Jesus. Gotta be. Good save by Galashi. Can't believe Jesus didn't score that. That's mental. Oh, yeah, I could tackle. Too much. Oh my god. Wait. Oh, I've still got it. Jesus, come on. God damn. Real tough, real. Trying, oh my god. Okay. Don't know how his Latin made it made it on through there, but they have the tackle there. Nice. What a run by his Latin. Gotta give him gotta give him credit for that. Should have had that, I did. And he's giving away a pen. Insane. Insane. You can't try and make a tackle in the box without it being a penalty. Mental. Yeah, there we go. All day. All day, every day. Um, oh, I'll take that. Come on. Jesus. Got to be. Oh, my God. I don't know. Was that a save? It was. That's a very good save. Zachariah. Or Thomas, rather, actually. Just gets it off target. Damn. What's one Lewandowski? That's a very interesting substitution pick. Come on, no. Great save by Massip, holy, keeping us in this game. Probably don't deserve it, but I'll take it. Cristiano, ah. Oh. It's how to play. Ooh. We're under pressure a lot, like mad pressure. Didn't want to pass to him at all. And Sergio Ramos gives away the ball, nice. Great tackle by Laporte. No, don't give it to Ronaldo. Oh my god. <laughs> Great tackle by Robertson. If we can just win that. Oh my god. Yes. Come on. Has to be. Oh my god. Yes, there we go. Game over. We hung on by the, the scruff of our neck. Whole... Lee, I may not have deserved that win, but we got it. So, you know, I think we played really well. You know, defensively, we, we were phenomenal uh, to cut out this guy's attack. And then attacking-wise, you know, we weren't brilliant. We did get a few lucky goals, but I think the goals we scored were somewhat deserved. But there we are. We, we have smashed, I think that's the third round. So now we're on to the final. Who would have thought us nobodies would be in the in the final of the draft i mean if we can go and win it that would be sensational that really will be sensational for for a draft to glory episode um you know uh, I, I think our team can do it it's incredible got some really good subs you know like bringing on ronaldo he didn't do much but he, he was enough to um you know for us to pass to and stuff but yeah either way jump in jump into the final see if we can uh see if we can hit the jackpot and win it all and here we go. So draft final. It's got a team that looks like this. We've got Slimani up top with Mo Salah. It's got Neymar, Allen, Van Arnholt, Carl Walker, Havertz. Good looking team. Not the greatest backline again. You know that we've seen a lot of these teams that don't have a very good defensive backline. Um, but yeah, see what we can do. Imagine he's going to take off Slimani for Ronaldo or something, or Timo Werner or somebody. Yeah, let's wait for that ball. Didn't do enough to stop him, damn. It's that pace with Mo Salah that I just couldn't deal with. 
Jesus. I made the tackle. Oh, good save by Masip. We're getting absolutely dominated. Like, you, you love to see it, don't you? You love to see it. I mean, I'll show you what happened there. But, like, he had the ball and he just wouldn't clear it, man. I, I asked him to clear it and then obviously it just falls to Mo Salah and he just he scores. I, I don't know what I can do at this point. I really don't. Oh, Jesus. Get one back at least. Yes, there we go. 3 1. It's not completely game set and match just yet. We've got, you know, if we can get the ball and just kind of get it past his Maguire and such, then we actually might be in a bit of a chance. But so far, we've just, you know, conceded a few goals. Lucky or not. We have conceded a few goals. God damn. Well, it's not looking good. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, it's dire straits. I still, uh, I just feel like there's a chance. You know, like with those slow defenders and such, if we can just grab the ball. Okay, wow. I just got completely done there with the Baggio, but what are you doing, Baggio? It's unlucky. Baggio, 2-6-2, two, two. let's go. There's a come, comeback is on, <laughs> comeback is on. It's not, it's really not. Mental, that's a penalty. Oh, no. Ow, no, Chief, I don't know. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one, Chief. I mean, he won the ball, but... Save him, I said. Didn't actually do anything, but let's go. Gotta say, Neymar is a lot to deal with. <laughs> He's a lot to deal with. You know, I I've played against him a few times, and it's always been a friggin' nightmare. Here we go, Baggio. Oh, how has he missed that? How has he just jumped and just like completely missed the ball? But yeah, ne Neymar is a lot to deal with, especially with this guy. He's very good with him. I'm not gonna. Not gonna sugarcoat it. He's uh, he's very good with him, and um, I'm struggling. Yeah, as you can, as you can probably tell, being eight two down. So, Timo. Ooh, damn! I really thought that went in. That was one hell of a shot. Very, very close. I'm sure. Yeah, most likely, reality is it probably was very far away. Anyway, the it is what it is. I didn't really expect to win the final. To be fair, the guy was very good. Um, I, I I don't know, I was just happy to be there, to be honest. I was just enjoying the experience. Um, it's my first draft final ever to be in, and we had one hell of a team. It was just a bit unfortunate. We lost it, obviously, but again, like I said, I didn't really expect to win it. Um, uh, it's going to take a little bit more practice, I think, to uh, to come close. We did, we did score two goals against this guy. He was very good. Defensively, not all there. Um, you know, obviously having quite a slow backline with Shaw and... Harry Maguire and stuff kind of let him down a bit, but we just couldn't take advantage. His uh, midfield was too much and his attack was just way too much with um, Hazard, Neymar and Salah. I think he switched ha uh, Neymar up to striker and, and put Hazard on the left. And it was just it was just an incredible front three to deal with. The pace was too much and he knew some skills that I just couldn't, <laughs> just couldn't deal with. So tough game, tough game. A little bit sad we lost it, but, you know, at, at being 8-2 down, there was... There was no redemption from there, and I can't really be upset. We've done really well so far. We smashed it in, in all the games. Look at that consistency as well. You know, you're seeing it. 2-1, 2-1, and 2-1 all the way through the games. Completely, completely consistently average, which I'll take it. But round three, you know, they say kings are the people who uh, who win in the third round and not people who win in the final. But we get ourselves a, a jumbo premium gold pack, not too bad, and a premium gold players pack. So... Um, we'll see what we get. We also have two Team of the Week player packs as well for today's episode. Uh, I'm not going to open the 100k pack today because I want to save that one, possibly. I'll, I'll keep hold of it. You never know what, what might come out, so it'll probably be garbage anyway. But first pack of the episode is going to give us nothing good. Can we get a good 82 at least? Good Ferran Torres, incredible against Germany, but not so good on FIFA, unfortunately. Um, 
It's an 81, I suppose. I can't really complain. To get a shadow, which is very nice. That's going to go for about 4k ish. Get a CM, uh, a cam to CM, sorry, which is going to go about 4 ish k. A right mid to right wing, which is going to go for about a thousand. And that's not expensive at all. Um, cool. So we've made about 7k already in that pack. Um, premium gold players pack. Come on. If we can see an inform, we've made profit. Um, we probably made profit anyway out of all of that pack. We have got our boards though. That still could be good. French goalkeeper. It's going to be Big Steve, my boy Mandanda. Big Steve. 83 though. You know, 83s are quite expensive. Let's have a look. Not so much. He is about 2k. It's not too bad. We also get a para. It goes for equally probably about 1.5k. We get some uh, non-rares, which I'll uh, sort out at a later date. That'll be fine. Not bad. Not bad, to be fair. We probably made profit out of all of those if I actually went through and meticulously, um, you know, sold everything. But Team of the Week player number one. Now, this is from our current Team of the Week. So, I'm not going to look because I don't want to see if it's a walkout or a boards. No, it's not a board, so I don't want to see if it's a walkout. We get Chilean. Get Vidal. That's not bad. Is he? A, he is a walkout, isn't he? I'm quite glad I didn't look at that because uh, that would have been pretty gas. We do get Vidal though. 85 rated team of the week. I wonder how much he goes for. We obviously got him as our red picks, which is a bit unfortunate. Not bad. He's actually about 35,000 coins. That's pretty good. Can we get another walkout? There's a few really nice players I'd love. Kante, Mane. Not a walkout, sadly, but who's it going to be? It's going to be Dutch, right back from, oh, PSV, okay. Got Dumfries, that's not terrible. It's actually not a terrible card, in fairness. It's a bit slow for right backs in this game. So that's how that's how we're going to end today's episode. It's actually been a really good, good draft to glory episode. I'm really happy with it. Obviously, making it all the way to, to the final, sadly losing... Um, but we actually got some half decent rewards, you know, not the best players out of the packs. Um, but I think we're still going to probably make profit or or just over what we actually what we actually spent, which we, we didn't spend anything because we got a draft token. So, um, so yeah, as long as we make 15,000 coins, we've made profit. Well, I suppose as long as we make any coins, which we have, um, we've made profit. So not bad, not bad at all. Either way. Hopefully you have enjoyed today's episode. Hopefully you're enjoying the series itself. Um, you know, not every episode is going to be amazing, but hopefully you're enjoying kind of the idea, the themes, the wheel, and then uh, hopefully the gameplay is somewhat entertaining. But um, yeah, today being probably one of the few exceptions that actually is a very good episode. Most of them have been fairly garbage. It's just been tough. You know, the game the game itself is just tough to play sometimes. And uh, when when your luck's in or, or when you know you face the right opponents you can actually make it quite far in the draft but um, and clearly today was our day but either way hopefully you have enjoyed this video if you have please do drop it a like that'll be very very much appreciated that of course will help the channel out and uh, help us grow on youtube um if you want to see more of this content or any more of the content like road to glory anything else we produce on this channel do consider hitting that subscribe button and become and become part of the exclusive family. Um, but with that said, I do hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.